it's not fair. You know what I mean? A child shouldn't be behind the wheels of a car anytime. And if a parent who lets the child be behind the wheels is uh, irresponsible. Neighbors ask why parents are not facing charges after a 13 year old driver gets behind the wheel and a girl is injured. A five year old girl in Odessa lucky to be alive tonight after jumping out of the back of a moving pickup truck while a 13 year old boy was behind the wheel. Little girl is now in stable condition at a Lubbock hospital and CBS 7's Matt Riss has been looking into this story. He spoke with police today about a decision not to charge the driver's parents. Matt. Unlicensed teen at the wheel leads to an injury. Just one month ago, another incident was fatal for a pedestrian. Police say today when looking at all the evidence, they just didn't think parents should be charged. A pair of shoes and toys now sit idle in front of the home where it happened late last night. Police say a 13 year old boy got behind the wheel of a pickup and took off. There was several uh, children playing in the truck and the bed of the pickup truck. Not everybody was clear from uh, the truck itself and uh, the little girl stood up. That's when seven year old neighbor Kaylin saw the unthinkable. They, they stopped and she jumped out and she fell on the, on the uh, street. How did you feel? Sad. <laughs> the five year old's injuries to her head were so severe she was airlifted to Lubbock. Police say only the 13 year old driver was cited for driving without a license. That mom um, is a single parent and the kids um, had gone over to a friend's house in this vehicle. She was at work, um, so she wasn't uh, didn't wasn't even aware of what the kids were doing. It'd be kind of hard to meet those elements to try to charge the parent. It's not fair. You know what I mean, a child shouldn't be behind the wheels of a car anytime, and if a parent who lets the child be behind the wheels is uh, irresponsible. Police tell me the driver and the little girl were not related. There's no indication that Child Protective Services is involved at this time. Police say the investigation is ongoing. Live in the newsroom, I'm Matt Rist, CBS 7 News.